Welcome to Electron Online. Now the sequences are becoming a little bit more challenging in order to be able to write the general formula for that sequence. Notice that from here on out things seem to make sense. We have 4 which could be 2 squared, 2 cubed, 2 to the 4th power for 16, on the denominator 3 to the 1st, 3 to the 2nd, 3 to the 3rd. But now when we look at the first two numbers in the sequence, Hmm, we do seem to have something that seems to be not in sequence. Well, it actually, of course, is if we can see through it. Now, I do see a 2 here. This could be 2 to the first power versus 2 to the second power. And then here, I can imagine this to be 2 to the zero power, which is a 1, 1 times something else. So I'm going to rewrite the sequence a little bit as follows. So this could be also written as 3 times 1 to the zero power. And then this would be 2 to the first power, and then 2 to the second power, and 2 to the third power, 2 to the fourth power in the numerator, of course the denominator, I still have over here, this would be divided by 3, divided by 9, and divided by 27. Of course, I could write this in terms of 3 to the first, 3 to the second, 3 to the third, so let me do that instead. That may be even better. So sometimes it's a little bit of a trial and error methodology where you look at it and say, well, what if I write it differently? So let's do this. Let's write this as 3 to the first power, 3 to the second power, 3 to the third power. So now we're beginning to see a pattern, but it doesn't flow all the way yet to the first two numbers in the sequence. Unless I can assume, of course, that this may be 3 to the 0 power, because 3 to the 0 power is 1, which gives me a 1 in the denominator. So far, so good. And then, well, let's see here. How about a 3 to the negative 1 power? So this would be 3 to the 0 power. If I replace this 3 in the numerator by a 3 to the negative 1 power, then this 3 goes away, because Having a, th having a 3 to the negative 1 power in the denominator gives me a 3 to the first power in the numerator. And that gives me the 3 up there. So it looks now that I've found the pattern in both the numerator and the denominator. So now if I write down the values for n for each of these numbers in the sequence, I need my blue pen right here. So n, that would be equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so forth. So notice that we're a little out of sequence. For the numerator, this is the numerator, the exponents are 1 less than n. In the denominators, the exponents are 2 less than n. So now I think I have the pattern of this. I believe I can now write a sub n being equal to the number 2 to the n minus 1 power. So 1 minus 1 is 0, 2 minus 1 is 1. 3 minus 1 is 2, and in the denominator, I can write 3 to the n minus 2 power. When n is equal to 1, subtract 2 from that, I get a negative 1. When n is equal to 2, subtract 2, I get 0, and so forth. So it looks like this is a good way in which we can write the sequence in the general form like that. And that's how it's done. Hmm. I did it differently than on my notes, but I like it.